all right hello everyone and peace of christ to all of you please invite your friends and share the link with everyone you know um i did not post yet in facebook or anywhere that's we are live on air and actually i just sat behind my desk i was kind of busy um let us invite our friends and today our topic is kind of interesting and we would like to you know share some understanding about how things work around us and as you see from the title i choose a title which about the liberals and muslims or generally speaking islam i never saw ever a liberal you don't defend Islam and I find that this is very interesting because why and how I mean when we say liberals we speak about people who support uh, the feminine movements gays lesbian uh, people who support uh, um transgender uh, you know abortion uh they want even to use the male he should use the female bath uh, room i mean it's a, they have a crazy agenda but this agenda supposedly is totally far away from the agenda of islam so what happened how to side which nothing they shared together they became not only friends they became like they have a, they have a special passionate especially the liberals and the Muslim really don't care for the liberals much but they use them and we will explain that how this has happened and how the liberals became a major force in Islam not only a force but a major force um, I don't know if you heard the news just today the team from Spain Real Madrid invited Palestinian women who supposedly went to jail for slapping uh, an Israeli soldier. Okay. The first thing you ask yourself, what Real Madrid have to do with such a thing? I mean, why they want to invite such a woman? What exactly is the point? There's no point except they are liberals and liberals are against anyone he say I support army I support my country I support uh, my flag the second you support your flag you are mentally ill the same second you do that you are literally mentally ill person for them because obviously there's something wrong with you how you support your flag in USA the liberals as an example they want school teachers principals to kick out any student he is coming coming to the school and he have the flag of USA in his t-shirt I will open the screen in a second I'm just posting around Are patient with me All right, we are almost done posting. So why, uh, you know, a, a sport party have nothing to do with that area. They are going to invite a Palestinian girl who slammed a soldier in his face and supposedly she went to jail for doing that, which is very stupid of Israel to do. And actually, here we go. They made her a star. 
but Israeli government is run by a bunch of idiot what I can say they have a lack of wisdom and lack of intellect so this woman she is invited by Real Madrid tomorrow is going to be invited by a different group but why they do that I mean what is your business this is a sport team have nothing to do with politics but who said this is about politics this is about stupidity never was about politics it's about stupidity right now do anything throw a shoe at a Trump they will invite you a spit at uh, any Republican uh, big-name figure they will invite you uh, make an article against the Prime Minister of Hungary you know they will they will make you a hero um, throw some tomatoes as, at the president of the Czech Republic as an example the one who is refusing refugee you are a hero but why all of this garbage is happening what is the business of those people with, with, with such a thing you see uh, uh, many people think that we have something called a sport sport you know people do sport this is not sport there's no sport in this world first of all those are corporations run by businessmen and the one who own the corporation is the one who control what happened inside it the rest are just uh, converse they sing when it's time to sing they speak when it's time to speak they shut up when it's time to shut up they play when it's time to play nothing there is about sport everything is about how much money we will make from this team that's why those team you you, they, they, you hear always they are for sale even flyers they are for sale so everything is for sale everything is a business and the Arab they are involving heavily in uh, sport teams in Europe hotels restaurants you name it and this is why someone like those parties when they want to go and play in the Middle East they are willing to take the cross from their logo you know like this sport team specifically this team we are talking about supposedly they have um, like uh, a logo and they are willing to change the logo just for the sake of the Arab who they are heavily investing in this you know this team if we search for Islamophobia in Google we will find 7 million 30,000 result 7 millions 30,000 result if we filter I will just go for the last 24 hours presidency of Republic of Turkey Islamophobia <laughs> Islamophobia coming from school Brank Brangdin Islam New Jersey all right uh, walk a bit yeah the garden hmm. what else Israel nation in use Islamophobia now we are talking what is that Islamophobia in Israel nation in use let us see I'm, I'm, I'm really interested even the Israeli are talking about Islamophobia what is that let us see what is this Islamophobia now we are talking okay what is that uh, the problem with Israeli news uh, papers the second you open them you will get 1,000 advertising I mean I'm not going to read it anyway forget it. I mean they want to make money even from a little tiny page I mean it's not enough it just like how many pennies we will make from advertising in a page we can't even read the article uh, judge sides with care 
against his student parents judge his side this is two hours ago the judge his side with care which is an Islamic organization against student parents okay let us see judge size size with care uh, against student parents uh, rules against permanently injection San Diego school protection of Islam hmm. okay a federal judge has sides with the Council of American Islamic relations sh relation against the student parents in San Diego district in their fight against program that provides special protections and consideration to Islam that is not provided for other religion see in America Islam is sponsored by a federal judge I mean there is a program to protect Islam from being accused or uh, let us see you guys are not seeing the screen right hold on it's not it's my it's my fault sorry judge side with care against student parents rules against parent okay injection in san diego school protection of islam there's a program it's called protection of islam <laughs> all right judge a federal judge has sided with council of american islamic relationship against student parents in san diego district uh, district and their fight against a program that provides special protection special protection for islam there's a program in san diego provide special protection for islam islam need protection islam my friend need protection islam is suffering i mean how you can protect a religion what does that mean the liberal media they curse us they make fun of jesus they say the effort to jesus in every movie and nobody nobody is seeking protection for the christians but islam need a special program it's called islam protection hmm. all right judge kathia bashnat sound weird name okay this week refused to grant family injection against district pro-islam activities citing provide range of factors she uh, concluded such an issue as matter which courts out in interest blah 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 okay uh, advertising again i mean what you can do the school district modified its deal with care which has been designated uh, advertising by united arab emirate as terror organization the school district modified its deal with care which has been designated by united arab emirate as a terror organization <laughs> This organization is considered a terrorist organization in Emirat. It is, it is human rights fighters for liberals. And the federal judge, he side with the terrorist organization, which is considered in such a way by Emirat. The USA government has confirmed that CARE is a front group of the Muslims Brotherhood. And here we go. Is confirmed by the Muslim by, by USA government, which advocate worldwide Islamic caliphate with zero tolerance for other religions. I mean, I don't know what to say. I'm not going to read all of this garbage. I assure you, this judge, obviously, he is a liberal. How I know he's a liberal? I mean, this is California. This is California. As simple as that. Al Jazeera English 
Trump administration what is Islamophobia surely you mean Islamophobia as many maybe people in visual Muslim blah 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 okay anyway so there's tons and tons of articles in the last 24 hours all speak about Islamophobia last news the Muslim news I like to see the Muslim news and see we want to hear the Muslims what they want to say what is the Islamophobia thing What is the article about the Islamophobia? I'll read it. Here we go. EU anti-Islamophobia kit launched in European Parliament. See, European Parliament have now a kit. It is anti-Islamophobia. Mm, interesting. Brussels in a wake of a growing racism 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 across Europe a project to counter Islamophobia was launched in European Parliament in Wednesday expert in academic from across Europe gathered at the Parliament to launch two years counter Islamophobia kit CIK project funded by European Commission I mean you see you guys have a phobia in the last week how many attack happened in Europe just yesterday in Holland they arrested eight Abdul planning for terrorist groups same in Belgium same in France in Denmark they closed the highway for several hours looking for some terrorist and yet they say that we need to fight the phobia I mean fight the phobia who is the one causing the phobia? You are suffering the from the phobia. And instead of fighting the terrorism, you are defending the ideology of the terrorist. Because all the terrorism, they share one thing. Those terrorists who do terrorism, they share one thing, the ideology of killing the infidels who don't believe in their belief. So now the European Union, European Union, this is not Islamabad, this is not Pakistan, this is not Afghanistan, this is not Tehran, this is not the Mullahs, this is not Erdogan, this is the European Parliament. They want to fight the Islamophobia. They called on member state and policymakers to play more active role to fight against Islamophobia. And strengthen legal procedures on this issue. The project review dominate anti-Muslim narrative and compares counter narrative in eight members in state blah blah France Germany blah 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 blah. Okay, challenging. Hmm. Of Muslim threat, um, they want to show you that Muslims are not a threat. Building inclusive nations. Challenging exclusive discrimination national project culture compared to you know, changing narrative of separation culture. You see, those those European, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm sorry if you are a Euro European, and I'm sorry if you are an American, and I'm sorry if you are Canadian, and I'm sorry if you are Australian. You people, you are suffering from mental issues to have those people to present you in the European Parliament. Because don't tell me they became there by themselves, somebody elected them. And don't tell me Europe is in to be such a garbage place like this by accident. When you say there is discrimination against Muslims and you want to defend that, actually, I am against any discrimination to anyone doesn't matter who he is but Islamophobia is not against what you call it Islamophobia is not against Muslims it's a lie Islamophobia anyone he speak against Islam for you he is Islamophobia as an example to give you an example here 
You want to fight the idea that Muslims are a threat. You want to fight the idea that Muslims are the threat, which means if somebody believe Muslims are a threat, he is obviously he have Islamophobia. But do you blame somebody he saw 9-11 to believe Muslims are a threat? Do you blame somebody he was attacked by a knife or in the in the Christmas uh, day in, in Germany or in France by a truck? Do you blame somebody he was you know walking jogging in the in the in the park of New York and he was driven over by a Muslim Abdul? How you can how you can make people believe that Islam is Muslims are not a threat when they see around them every day an attack? How you can fight that idea? So obviously you are stupid. I'm going to post on YouTube a video I recorded myself in France. Five soldiers in the right side of the road and five soldiers in the left side of the road carrying heavy arms, ready to shoot any moment, any second. Why is that? Is that because there is Islamophobia or because you are afraid of a Muslim threat, you coward, liar, hypocrite? Since when in France, we need soldiers to walk in the street and they are carrying guns? Unless you yourself, the government of France, believe strongly that you have a threat and the threat is coming from Muslims specifically. Who are you walking in the street with guns for? I will give you names. Maybe the Catholic. Maybe the Hindus. Uh, maybe the atheist, uh, maybe the communist. Can you please tell us why your soldiers in the street with heavy arms in Germany, in the airport, in France, in the street, in the market, you are afraid of from who? Hypocrites. Hypocrites and liars. How in the world those people became in the parliament? How someone like Miracle, she became a prime minister or a councillor for Germany. What's wrong with you German people? Did you lose your mind? Obviously you did. It is us who need the protection, not them. When the last time you saw a Christian in Paris taking a, a, a knife and attacking Muslims in the street? When the last time you saw in Germany a Christian taking a sword saying Jesus Akbar and he slaughtered some Muslims? If you don't see Islam as a threat, so why each time I go to an airport somewhere, they ask me one million a question just because I'm an Arab and they think I'm a Muslim? Where have you been, sir? Oh, I've been in this country and this country. What you did there? Uh, I did this and this. Who you meet there? I mean, what? I am a USA citizen trying to enter the country. I'm not applying for a visa. I am a citizen. Yet each time I want to enter the airport, they screen me as if I'm coming from Afghanistan. Why is that? Because they think I'm a Muslim. If I speak Arabic, right away they put a circle around my ticket and I go to special check. And they ask somebody behind me right away who is a blonde, necessity. It have to be blonde. They will look in the line. Anyone, he have a red head. They ask him to go for a special check too. So they make it look like we are not picking up in someone just because he's an Arab. Yeah, right. And I don't blame them. I don't blame them. We import terrorism. That's what we do in the Middle East. I don't I don't blame any agencies to investigate someone like me who have the name or the skin or the birth or etc. from the Middle East. I don't blame them.
Why well, this is not this is not racism. This is about facts. The liberals they always come with fake, not only fake news, fake agenda, and they have two agenda: agenda in the in the shelf, in the back door, and agenda in the front in the media. And the agenda is to defend, you know, they want to defend the rights of somebody. But this is not really the agenda. The agenda is the following: all the ones who love their countries, all the ones who they are consider right. Or the one the one they consider them conservative, those are enemies. And all of those they share one thing. They don't like Islam. And they believe Islam is a threat. As long as this is what they believe is a threat, so we sponsor the threat, which they think it's a threat. For this is how we can fight them by fighting what they believe they want to fight. And that explains. Why Islam in the same bed with the liberals? Imagine people who believe in killing gays, throwing them from the top of the building, is the same one protected and defended by the liberals. And you will see even a gay defending Islam. You will find a feminine, she is defending Islam. The Quran says if, if one of those women, she is found guilty, of what it's called in Quran loudness, which means women with women, the Quran says they should be jailed until they die. What is the problem? Hello? Hello, good, good, good afternoon. Good afternoon, who is with me? Uh, my name is Victor from Nigeria. Hey Victor, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Oh, sir, please. I enjoy your debate with you. You have talked much about Islam. So I want you to debate one morning for me in Nigeria. So I want to connect you and the match together very soon, sir. Uh, my friend, Victor, can you speak a little, little slower? I, I have a hard time to understand your accent. I apologize. Can you say again? Uh, okay, sir. I said uh, in Nigeria, we are half Islamic country and half Christian. Yeah. So I want you to even to debate one Islamic man in Nigeria. Sure, sure. Is he's there right now? You can so, make him I will call me now. Man very... If he is, if he is available, uh, we can take him. Uh, right I, I trust you. I trust you. I mean, uh, Christian, please see. I want you to crush him, crush him like a piece of cake. I want you to like crush him. You should not. You should destroy his career for me. My friend, in the name of God, please. My friend, just his let him call me. Let him call me, so we can have a debate. Now, who crush who? This is not important. Yeah. You will see what will happen. Let us see what will happen. Mostly the Muslim, he will win. Always I lose. I never debated a Muslim and I won, according to Muslims. <laughs> so, so ask him. Me, I, I, know you very, I know you very well. I just want you to, to help you do something. The man always go around twisting the Bible. Uh, he'll be doing trash. He'll be doing trash on the Bible. He will say Islam is the best religion. So now, I want to connect the two of you together very soon. The, this Maybe on Tuesday. Okay, my friend Victor, get me this guy because I. I am... when is the well, anytime you are coming, I'm going to debate you, sir. Yeah, but we but we need to make him call me. You know, you have Hello, to make, you have to make him call me so we can have a good debate with him, and tell him that for sure you will win because Allah is with you. So you know, encourage him to call me. You know? I will mention the name of Jesus. Sorry, say again. Yeah, I will tell him. Thank you very much. Bye bye. You're welcome, my friend. Thank you for. Say thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Victor. Thank you. Bye thank bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah. If you have any Muslim, I don't need to know the name or the person. I don't really care. Just let him call me. You know. Right? Uh, now, uh, by the way, I have an issue with people in Facebook. I'm uh, sorry, in, uh, in Skype. In Skype, I receive messages. Can you give me this reference? Can you show me where it says that? I mean, do you know how many people I have in Skype they keep adding me? And if every one of you he asks me, can you give me a reference? I will spend my life, not my day, just to answer what I receive in maybe a few hours. So please, if you want to find something I spoke about, simply all what you need to do, just type in Google. Let us see, let us say, not necessarily a reference. Let us say the news I'm reading right now. Huh? Type 
four words like this in Google, you will find the same article. As simple as that. But nobody want to do any job. I mean, people, they want me to serve them. They think I am here just to answer questions in Skype. I have thousands of videos, if not tons of thousands. Any reference you see in the screen, if freeze the video, type exact a few words from that reference on Prophet Google piece upon him, and you will find the exact reference in a second in your screen. Don't be lazy. And then if you don't answer them, they get upset. I mean, you have to be serving them 24 hours, seven days a week. Now we go back to our topic. The fact about the phobia is the agenda created by the liberals and sponsored by Muslims to make you believe that anyone he attack Islam as a religion, as a cult, he is Islamophobic to the point nobody dare to say any word against Islam. This is what they want. Every few years, the Muslims, they try to present a new law in the United Nations to protect Islam from any, any, even to write an article against Islam is going to be forbidden. You cannot write an article. You can write article about anything. Christianity, Judaism, Hindus, Buddhas, you can make fun of Buddha. You can make fun of Jesus. You can curse Jesus. You can say the F word to the God of the Jews. Who care? But you cannot say one word against Islam. That's all because of the money. You see, all those who try to present themselves, they are defending the right of a human being. They are receiving a lot of donations from Islamic organization who they have hundreds of millions of dollars. You see, when the Muslim they voted for Obama, people they say to me, Obama is not a Muslim. This is a propaganda, you know, as as usual, Islamophobia. So I said to them, then why the Muslim they voted for Obama? Just a question. According to Islam, Obama is the enemy of Islam. Why? Because he left Islam. A person who left Islam is even more a criminal, according to Islam, from somebody who was not a Muslim or never, never was a Muslim. The punishment for somebody leave Islam, according to the cult of Islam, is death. Why the Muslims voted for Obama? Obama claimed to be Christian. And he took an oath when he became a president on the gospel. This is the whole point. The point is to make you believe he is a Christian. But facts says clearly that Obama is a Muslim Brotherhood. He sponsored the Muslim Brotherhood. He is a member of the Muslim Brotherhood. And he fight for the sake of the Muslim Brotherhood. After Obama, he took off for office. I said it clearly. You can go and watch the show with the brother uh, Osama Dakdok. And I said to him, Obama will not leave until he established Islamic State. And they work in that. The Islamic State established already in the time of Obama. But the plan was not really to have ISIS. The plan was to have Islamic State of Caliphate of the Muslim Brotherhood. But they never thought a smaller group of terrorists, they are going to overcome what they think it's a major force, which is the Muslim Brotherhood in countries like Syria, Jordan, Egypt. So they have Turkey already under Muslim Brotherhood. Syria, a huge number of Muslim Brotherhood. Jordan, 85 to 90% of the population are Muslim Brotherhood. And now, as we speak, Egypt have Tons of millions of Muslim Brotherhood, and actually the president in Egypt 
was able to be a president by the help of Obama gang. And by the help of Saudi Arabia and Emirates, the Muslim Brotherhood, they lost Egypt. If Obama is still as a president, the Muslim Brotherhood will stay there. He will go for war for it. Right away, actually, when the revolution happened in Egypt, he put sanctions on Egypt immediately because he wanted the Muslim Brotherhood to go back. He did everything he can. Hillary Clinton, she met only one person in Libya, one person, only one man in Libya, and he is the head of the Muslim Brotherhood. What was the plan? We take Al Qazafi out, we make you a president, and we will have a Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt, in Libya, in Syria, in Jordan, and in Turkey already, and then we make Erdogan the Caliphate of the Muslim Brotherhood. And after that, the Caliphate of Erdogan is going to swallow Saudi Arabia, Emirates, Bahrain, Qatar, because they will become so small in front of a huge countries like those countries. Egypt alone is 100 million, Turkey about 80, Syria. 26 Jordan maybe six or seven Libya is in the size of Europe have a lot of oil and we have the oil of, of, of and the money of Qatar so what you see in the media about what is called Islamophobia you sometimes you ask yourself why why even there is a why they want to defend you know the, the, the Islamic terrorism this is not those are the, those people they don't work for you those people they work for the oil of Qatar they work for the gas of Qatar they work for the money of Saudi Arabia they work for anyone who pay if you go check right now in Google you will find that Sarkozy he was made a president by the Arab specifically al Qazafi. the Prime Minister of Italy he is a potato made by the Arab specifically al Qazafi. If you go all over Europe, you will not find a single government, maybe few of them, I have to make exception, is not sponsored by Arabian king or Arabian prince. The BBC, all of you, you know the BBC. The BBC, everybody what he think or they knew that the BBC is an agency, news agencies owned by the UK government. The fact is not. The BBC, especially the Arabic one, owned and sponsored by the Saudi for all the years it was open. <laughs> and one day the BBC, by mistake, one of them, he made a mistake. He interviewed somebody against the government of Saudi Arabia. Second day the BBC was shut down. The Saudi government, they called the BBC. They said, that's it. No more money. Please, no, no, no more money. And this is how Al Jazeera opened. Al Jazeera took advantage. They hired all the employees of the BBC, which shut down by the Saudi because they are the one who sponsor it and own it. And they made them work for Al Jazeera. And this is how Al Jazeera started. They want you to believe that anyone speak against Islam, he is a phobia person. He have a mental issue, actually. This is what phobia means. You know, phobia is a person. He sleep in the in the pillow. He think the pillow is a um, is a wolf will eat him or something. Somebody he see a hair, he the hair in the from the hair of somebody, he think it's a knife. That's a phobia. Somebody he see a drop of water, he think it's tsunami. This is what phobia is about. They try to make you believe. This, this is why they choose the phobia. But the fact the one who have a phobia is the Muslims. The Muslim, if you eat pork in front of him, he insult you. If he don't go and do violence against you. The Muslims, if you drink, they beat you. The Muslim, if they see you in their territory eating a sandwich in the month of Ramadan, they beat the hell of you. The Muslims, the first thing in the morning when they pray, they curse us. And this is written in chapter 5, verse number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. Read it. Every day in the morning, they say, Allah, please, don't make us the same as the lost Christians and the cursed Jews. Please, Allah. Please don't do that. Who is the one have a phobia? 
<laughs> Who is the one have a phobia? I don't curse the Muslims in the morning. I don't curse them afternoon. I don't curse them when I sleep. I don't curse them when I wake up. I don't curse them when I eat. Those people, they pray five times a day cursing us and asking their God not to make them like us. And if you believe that I am making things up, it's in the front of you in the screen. Please, Allah. This is verse number seven. This is verse number seven. Please, Allah, make us in the path of those whom you favored with guidance. Please, Allah. Please, Allah. Not the path. Not the path of those against who there is worth, namely the Jews, nor those who they are astray, namely the Christians. Please, Allah. Please, Allah, don't make us the same as the Jews and the same as the Christians. Please, please, please. Who is the one have a phobia? This is a prayer. The Muslim they pray five times a day. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Yes, my friend. I hear Hello. you. Go ahead. Yes. Please speak again. I'm calling back, sir. You want to call me again? No, I, I said this. I don't understand. You said what? Victor, I'm calling back. I'm back. Okay, because your voice is cutting, I don't hear anything. So what, hello, do, you, hello. what do you want to say to us, Victor? What do you want to say? Go ahead. Okay, I said, uh, when will you come online again? Because the man I said, I want to introduce you to. His man is somewhere now. He's doing some teaching. Okay, no problem. Tell him when he want, and I will be online just for him. Tell him when he want. He want today, oh, tonight. Thank you very much. He want today, tonight. Uh, he want when he hello, went. Maybe when? tomorrow. Tomorrow. Maybe, maybe next tomorrow. Maybe on no, tomorrow. Yeah, I might not be. Tomorrow I have work to do actually. But if you want to die tonight, okay. I can come again tonight if you want. Anyway, you know I will be here always. You you will see me. I am always oh, online. Okay. You Anytime he okay, wish he can right. call me. Let us not to set up a date. He can call me anytime he see me in line. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, my, my, I, uh, you're welcome, my that, friend. What's the time in USA? What's the time right in USA? Right now it is uh twelve forty four p.m. in my time. Okay, four forty four. Okay, four forty four p.m. Yeah. Okay, uh, we we'll, we'll just have one hour different. We just have one hour different. So uh, don't worry, I'm going to call you. No problem, my friend. Thank you very much for calling. Thank, thank you very much. I want you to crush it from you, please. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Ah, thank okay, you. Okay, thank you. I trust you. I believe in you. Don't worry, my friend. Believe in the Lord, not in me. No. Yeah, thank you very much. Right, God bless thank you. you. Thank you. Bye bye. All right. <clears throat> Lord have mercy. Don't worry, my friend. Let him call me. All of them, they are heroes. All of them, they know our Bible very much. As long they speak to somebody who know nothing. And the second you ask him about their religion, they are the last to want to know. Like this guy, he's telling me about from Nigeria. I'm sure he made himself an expert in questioning the Bible. But the second you ask him a question about his cult, he have no answer. And the second you ask him about what he is reading from the Bible, he have no answer. But they are good in asking questions. But they are not good in listening to the answers. And it doesn't matter how many times you answer the question, they will not even listen to you. They will ask you the same question second day after you answer it. Because a Muslim, he don't ask question to question. He asks a, a question to play games. Like yesterday, I saw somebody in the comments saying something very stupid. He's saying both of them do not know how to talk. What both of them don't, don't know what to talk? Some, some of the Western, you know, sadly to say, and most of you who listen to me are Western, they think that when you speak to a Muslim, you have to speak to him the same way you speak to someone else. Like, you talk, I shut up. I talk, you shut up. They don't notice. 
that a Muslim he talk forever he answer nothing you have to force the answer they play games so don't tell me how to speak to a Muslim if you don't like it don't watch my videos just leave go watch Oprah if you watch my video just the one yesterday or the day before you will find I spoke to the Abdul for 40 minutes just to convince him or let us say not to convince him to force him to admit that this is what the verse saying 40 minutes it's in the front of us the screen is translated in the front of us in English and yet he don't want to admit that Allah he sent two angels to open a school to teach magic and after 41 minutes shouting at him he said you are right it says that so if I do it the way you want I will not be able to make you see the truth he will go and he will keep going lying and lying and lying 40 minutes made me lose my voice wasting my time just to make you see I don't need to see it I know this garbage I do not need to convince myself I'm not debating Muslims here for me I don't care I'm sick of this I'm sick of this cult but what make me sick more is a stupid Western who don't understand how important what we are doing they think we are doing this for fun they don't understand how much a threat we receive how much stress they try to put on us Have you ever heard of a Muslim? He say things as it is. And then you see in the comments, somebody saying to you, let the Abdul talk who he's talking. Don't you do you see me muting him? But I have to force the answer. Otherwise, this is not a debate. You see people, they are used to stupid debate. I don't do that. Stupid debate 10 minutes for you 10 minutes for me. Okay, you're Mike Shabir Ali. Oh, you're Mike Zakir Naik But the third in the Quran in chapter 13 a third 13 it said that the thunder is an angle and The reason for that is because simply it's an angle. Thank you very much And I will not explain to you. Okay now the mic for Christian Prince Zakir Naik he speaks for 10 minutes Saying nothing, nobody understand even what he said and then Christian Prince he take the mic and he said blah 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 for 10 minutes and people are asleep what is the where is the debate? There's nobody forcing anyone to say things. Nobody is getting anyone busted. It's a fake debate. Today we have a debate between this guy and this guy. This guy is a Muslim. He printed ten pages. This guy is a Christian. He printed ten pages from the internet. Both of them are not debating. Both of them they are fake. A real debate is a debate which I do not know the topic of it. To prepare for it and then I answer it that is a person he have knowledge not a person let us set up a topic okay to know then we we'll talk about eternity then the Abdul he print 1,000 question from the from the internet and the Christian guy he print 1,000 answer from the internet and then 10 minutes for you read the questions and 10 minutes for me to read the answers there's no debate What about both of you? You print, you print to us the answers you have already because every this everything is a preset answers, and preset questions, and preset topic. We don't do that. This is why I have my line open for people to call me. Not like Yusuf State in the Dean Show. Did you see guys the Dean Show? Yusuf State he have a phone, cell phone. Have you ever heard of a TV station they have a cell phone to receive phone call? Okay, hello. Nobody hear the conversation in the phone because there's nobody is calling. Yes, brother. Okay, 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 okay. Mm. We have a caller is asking why in Islam you teach hate against Christianity. Suppose it is a caller, but there is no caller. It's a fake. They have a preset questions for the program. They are the one who is 
making them they are the one who answer them and there's nobody is talking I have my Skype open any Muslim he can call me right now you see the Abdul yesterday I made a video I don't know how many of you saw it I think you will find it in unmasking the fools uh, uh, channel do you know this guy his name is a uh, 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 hijab anyone saw the video it's in minds.com you can go to minds.com and you can get the video from there minds.com slash Christian friends this guy he is supposed to want to debate David Wood okay and he starts saying uh, today we will talk about David Wood because like he is so this guy he is a Christian apologetist uh, blah blah and obviously he's making money uh, out of Islam out of attacking Islam and the guy he have in the screen this hijab in the screen he have a big text saying sponsor of our video by 50 pound so he's attacking David Wood to make living out of attacking Islam but yet he is asking the Abdul every Abdul to give him 50 pound to sponsor a video and supposedly David Wood is the maker one who why you why David Wood is attacking Islam because he's making money from it obviously you know this they want to make you believe in that but he himself he have a big sign in the video says give us 50 pound 50 pound this guy he don't accept five 50 and more and yet he is accusing David Wood of making money and you see the hypocrisy so they cannot debate you really they try to put you down and by the way why they want to debate David Wood I will tell you why this guy he speak Arabic David Wood he don't speak Arabic anything David Wood he would say he would say to him doesn't say that you don't understand Arabic as simple as that you know what I mean this is the game why, why do they want to debate me Sponsor our video by 50 pound. Why your video is made of gold? And he have it big in the screen like almost you see half of his head So if they make money, it's okay halal, but if David would make money, ah, he's a hypocrite, he's doing business. Uh -huh. You know, he cannot make money, he cannot collect donation. We can only collect and we don't accept anything and less than 50 pounds. We have 70,000 something subscribers. So if everybody, if from every thousand, one person he gave donation, this guy he will make about 4,000 pounds for, for every video, not a month sponsor our video sponsor this video 50 pound we go back the islamophobia once i was in the philippines just to tell you how stupidity is amazing And a person he wanted to pray. So, so in the prayer, oh, we have a call. Hold on. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yeah, I wanted to ask, why do you hate Muslims? My friend, I love Muslims. Do you hate them yourself? No. So why you hate Muslims? Why you are saying that? Why you are teaching no, hate? My friend, why you are teaching hate? Why you are saying hate Muslims? You just told me to hate the Muslims. Why you are doing that? No, no, I'm saying why No, do you, you just told me why you hate Muslims. You are trying to make to make me believe in hating Muslims. I don't hate Muslims. Do you hate Muslims yourself? No. Okay. Do you love Muslims? Yes. Do you love the Christians? Yes. You are a liar. No. Okay, I can prove it to you. So are you saying to me the Quran is a bad book? Because the Quran says that Allah He like those who hate the Christians. Okay, uh, no, actually I am not uh, educated at Quran, so. So you don't believe in the Quran. You don't. You don't believe in the Quran. Uh, no, I believe, but uh, I uh, I don't want this uh, religious topic. <clears throat> I don't, I don't understand. Know. I'm asking you now. Do you think Muhammad, when he said that we should fight the Christians and kill them, do you think Muhammad is a bad person? 
I am saying that don't uh, debate with religious topic right now. So what do you mean uh, don't debate part? with religious topic? So why you are calling me? You are the one who call me and you are teaching hate. I will report you to the government because you are teaching hate. You are trying to play with my mind because I am naive and their age and you're trying to make me hate the Muslim. I don't hate the Muslims. Why you are calling me then? All of your... Uh, uh, everyone is watching your video. They are all abusing Muslims. What, 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 what? What is that? I did not understand. Why you call me? Everyone who is watching your video, they are abusing Muslims. You can see in your comment. How they are abusing Muslims? Do you support beating women? They are against beating women. They are defending Muslim women. Why? Why? What kind of God? He says, beat your wife. Explain I mean, I said that. All of those, they are watching me. All of those, they are watching me. They are defending Muslims, but they are against Islam. Muslims are victims of Islam. What do you say? Do your father beat your mother? What do you do if you see your father beating your mother? You are going off topic. Though. That is. This is the topic, my friend. The topic is Islam and you are calling me for this reason. Otherwise, you must be stupid. This is our topic. Why do I talk about this topic? Why? Are you, are you a person who likes to beat women? No. So are you against the Quran? So are you against the Quran saying beat the women? Are you against the Quran? I will talk with you before. I Abdul, talk with you. are you against the Quran? Why you are coward? Why you don't want to say? As long you are against beating women, why you don't say I am against anyone who teach beating women? Can you say that? There is context. So give me the context, no problem. So you support you support beating women with context. Okay, go, tell us, guys. This is good. This guy he like to beat his wife. As long as it is in the context, okay. Tell us the context of beating your wife. How you beat them? What is the context? Go ahead. I have to study. Uh, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? So you like to beat them without knowing why? Why, is, uh, why you want to beat your wife? There is context for everything. Uh, there there is, is what? Not, there is what? It is, there is context for everything. Condition, conditions okay what is the condition to beat your wife in Islam tell us no, I'm, I'm saying there is context for everything in Quran and this. no problem tell us the context of everything in the Quran I'm asking you a specific what? question what kind of religion teaching beating the wife what, what is the what what is the context how can I know everything a woman I'm, let us I'm, say I'm, a woman she doesn't she disobey you she don't want to obey you you beat her why you think she isn't even if you beat an animal in America you go to jail if you beat a dog, if you beat a dog in America, you go to jail. A dog, a dog have more right than a Muslim woman. So we defend Muslim women. We want them to be free from the cult wow. and the violence of Islam. What do you say? If she disobey me, then I will divorce her. I don't understand. Important. What? Speak to me. Speak to me in in a, in, in a language I understand. What is that? What you said? If she disobey me, I will divorce her. If if she disobey you, you will do what? I will divorce or divorce. Okay, why the Quran don't say divorce? Or why he's saying beat her and, and, and jail her in her room? Are you wiser than Allah? Are you saying that Allah is wrong? He should teach you something different. Say it. That is different time, and today it is different. What different time? Are you saying the Quran was 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 it, it was right to beat a woman fourteen hundred years ago? Uh, I, you are not understanding that. You no, I understand. Different. I'm asking you, are you saying it is okay to beat women 1400 years ago? 1400 years ago, we don't know what will be. Uh, you are the one who said this is different timing. Now, are you saying now the Quran is not valid for today? No, it is valid, but uh, we have to uh, apply the context for everything. No problem. Without... Apply the context. What's wrong with you? Why you don't apply the context? The verse here is speaking about a woman to beat her. Why? Explain to us the, the context, please. I'm listening. Okay. Uh, my intention was not to... Uh, your intention is to be stupid. This is your intention, Abdul. You call me to make people believe I hate Muslims. I don't hate Muslims. You are the one who hate yourself. You are the one who think if I speak to you the truth, I hate you because you are a stupid and you are an idiot. You don't want to face the truth. I am just saying to yeah. you that beating women is wrong. You think this is hateful teaching? Why? Why a stupid person like you think that if somebody says to him that beating your wife is wrong is teaching hate? Unless he's a donkey. And let me tell you something. Do you know what your prophet he said about people like you? 
What? The, let me show you what he said about people like you. This is this is specifically made for you. Do you see the screen with me? One second. Yes. Okay. Was your prophet speaking about you in this hadith? <laughs> hmm? What do you think? Your prophet was talking about you? Uh, wait, uh, my screen is loading. Your yours screen is slowly? It's loading, wait. It's loading, wait. Mm, okay. <clears throat> So do you think this hadith is about you? Or Muhammad, do <clears throat> you think all Muslims are like this? Or only you? So this is not uh, Quran, it is hadith. This is what? It is hadith, not Quran. This hadith is not what? This is hadith, it is not Quran. So what? So it is written by men, so we can't trust Okay, people. let me show you, uh, show, show you Quran is speaking about you. You think you can escape me by saying this is not Quran? So what? Your prophet saying that? Are you saying your, your prophet he says stupid thing? Are you saying that? No. So why you are saying I don't want to read the hadith? The hadith is stupid. Why you are saying that? Hmm? What's wrong with you? Why you disrespect the hadith of the prophet? Here we go. The Quran speak about Muslims here. Chapter sixty one, verse number sixty two, verse number five. You want to read it? Yeah. This is this is, is not this is a Quran. This is a Quran speak specifically about people like you. The Quran think the Quran says that there is people who carry the books, the Torah, but they are like donkeys. They carry it in their back, but they don't understand. I believe this is Muhammad. And people like you, what do you say? Yes, you are you are very hateful. Why are you appreciating? You have, you have no answer. This is why you is the second I say to you the truth. You you know you accuse me of hate, but the fact it's you who is you know being stupid. Does your prophet say that the one who carry books they don't understand them? They are donkeys. Yes or no? Do you think your prophet teaching hate here? Do you think your prophet teaching hate when he say you are the same as somebody carry? So, like a, like a donkey who carry books in the top of him, but he don't understand it. Do you see it? So if I say to you, the one who don't understand the Torah is a donkey, you will say to me, you are teaching hate. Right? Hello? Yeah, you yeah. <clears throat> Actually, uh, do you believe? Time, do you believe if somebody said, "If you don't understand the Torah, he is a donkey, he is teaching hate"? Yeah, it, but but this verse is not from Allah; it is from Satan. This verse is from yeah, Satan. Yes, he got Muhammad got possessed. So. Guys, this verse is from Satan. Muhammad was possessed. Did you hear that? Okay, tell us more. So, guys, this guy he he's a Muslim, and he agree. That Muhammad he was possessed and this verse from shaitan So the book of the Quran the book of Islam is full of verses from shaitan Okay, mr. Muhammad how not, we will not, know now not, how we will not know not all of it not all of it Yeah, but maybe 70% 80% 90 95. What do you think? What is the percentage no, of shaitan no, verses? No, I didn't didn't didn't, didn't give you any numbers so Okay, don't give me number me. give me number help me so I can understand I'm slow. I'm not like you smart So what is the number of satanic verses in the Quran? 1%, 2%, 5%, 5,000%. 5, what, what, what is the percentage? What do you think? Only after reading the whole book, I can give you the answer. After you're reading. Ah, okay, so now this verse for sure from Shaitan. Yes. Mm, okay. All right. Okay. What about the verses saying that uh, give it charity? Do you think this is from Shaitan? Uh, yeah, yes, maybe it is good. So I'll uh, give charity uh, is from Shaitan too. Okay. No, no. What about no, the verse? Maybe. What about the verse saying that Muhammad he he is allowed to have sex with any woman she wanna take off her panty? Is this from Quran? This is from Quran. Yeah. Is it is it from Allah or this is from the Shaitan? The Prophet uh, he received the Prophet he received verses in the Quran saying 
any woman, she is horny, she can take off her panty for the prophet. So he can do bang bang with her. What do you say about this verse? Chapter 33, verse number 50. Show me the verse. Here we go, Wait the verse in the front of you. Here we go. Muhammad, he made a long list of women he can sleep with them. Look how many, look how many. I mean, the neighbor and the neighbor of the neighbor and the cousin of the cousin and the cousin, the cousin, the cousin, the cousin his cousin and the cousin of the cousin and the cousin of the cousin, the cousin, the cousin, the cousin. And then the top of that, of all the cousins and the neighbors and the auntie and the brother of the blah, blah, blah. After all of this, any woman, she want to give herself to the prophet so he can do bang, bang with her. Do you think this is a verse from shaitan or this is from God? I, this is the first time I'm reading this book. my friend each time I speak to a Muslim he said to me this is the first time I read this I mean what's wrong with you Muslims you listen to me each time I go on air how many times you hear Muslims saying this is the first time I see this okay now this is the first time you saw it no problem what is your impression about it what do you think uh, yeah maybe uh... So this is from Shaitan uh, too. Obviously, it's from Shaitan. I mean, there is no way God will say any woman she want to yeah. take off her panty and open her legs for the prophet, let her go. I mean, this is not right, right? Yeah. Imagine yeah, you go yeah. home. Imagine you go home and the prophet walking by and your wife she said to you, "I want to take off my he panty up, for the prophet." Say, you know, this is really disgusting. Shut up, shut up. Huh? Don't. You are you. Yeah. Don't don't say like that. Why doesn't say that this is halal, my friend? This is halal. It says that Allah He said, yeah, for any you, woman, any for Muslim woman, she can give off her panty to the Prophet. What's wrong with you? Why you're upset now? Why you're not upset yeah, from the Prophet saying that? This is the Prophet saying that, not me. Why you're upset from me? Yeah, they, they uh, your uh, this translation is uh, wrong. I think. Which translation you like? We can change it, my friend. Which one you like? Give me the name. I have a translation yeah. of Hillary Clinton. I have a translation of John McCain. I have translation of Zakir Naik. I have a translation of Shabir Ali. I have a translation of Shish Kabab. What do you want? All of them saying the same, my friend. Let us read the translation of Shabir of, of Hillary Clinton. Any woman, she is hot. She's free to give herself to the Prophet because she have the right to be hot like men. Okay, this is the translation of Hillary Clinton. Do you like it? Why the women she is offering herself to the Prophet? Any women, even if she is married. And why the Prophet will take her? The guy, he have already many, many wives waiting for him in the bedrooms and they are naked. Why he need more? Look how many women they are listed in the list. Look how many hundreds. The cousins and the cousin of the cousins and the cousins of the cousins and the cousins of the cousins. And then in the top of that, a privilege for thee only all of this is a privilege for the prophet muslims don't have a privilege like this all of it's about his penis i mean have you ever heard of god he sent messages for a prophet penis to be a privilege for his penis all inclusive penis right this is only for the rights of the penis of a prophet muhammad peace upon his penis what do you say Hello? Hello? What happened to you? Oh, he hung up. <laughs> See, this is the propaganda they play. The second you ask questions about this stupid cult, they say to you, you hate Muslims. I don't hate anyone. You cannot say anything. The second you say this is wrong, this is filthy, this is disgusting, you hate Muslims. Who said we hate Muslims? It's you who follow a book teach to hate us. If we go in the Quran, we will find this. Look at the look who is talking about hate. I mean, look who is talking. All those verses teaching you to hate non-Muslims, chapter 3, verse 118. Chapter 5, verse 14. Let us see this one. I like this one, actually. This is the best of the, the, the ethic of the Quran. Allah, Allah is God of ethic. You can read any translation by the way you want. Any translation. Look how much love there. From those two who call themselves Christians. 
We did take a covenant, but they forgot a good part of the message that we sent to them. So, look at the logic, guys. Because they forgot the good part, look what we would do now. So, we string them with enmity and hatred between the one to the other. What? Until the judgment day. Let me show you what this guy, he just sent me in the text. <laughs> you guys are paid by the Jews. <laughs> uh, my friend, I'm working for the last four days trying to fix my roof. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because I don't have the money of the Jews. And today I did not work actually because it's raining. Four days and God knows how many days more I need to work before the winter come. Because I cannot spend money to fix my roof. And you are telling me you guys are paid by the Jews. Guys, did I say to you yesterday I might not be able to do broadcast because I'm fixing my roof? I am not a person who fix roofs. I have no idea how to do that. But I have no choice but to do it myself. Because I'm rich, obviously. Because money is coming like rain. If I have money, I will make a phone call. Company, they will come. They will change all my roof. It's amazing. You see, the second you say the truth, they accuse you to be, uh, you are making it, you know, you are paid by the Jews. Where is the Jews? Please make donation. Jews, are you there? Please. I spent the $700. I just not even started yet. I, I, no, I have to change a lot of material. I have, and all of it have to be done by me. They cannot handle the truth, so they try to put you down. Oh, this guy is doing it for money. Anyway, I don't mind, by the way, the Jews to donate to me. Any Jew he like to donate, please do. I mean, what's wrong with you Jews? Cheap. Shame on you. Where is your donation? Here we go. The Muslims accusing me that I am paid by the Jews. And where are you Jews? Well, they own Visa card, MasterCard, but we don't see their money. Where is your money? What a shame. <sighs> Do we have any Abdul want to call me? This is the phobia. What kind of God? He teach hate between Christians. I mean, what is the accomplishment of Islam? Unless this is a phobia. Phobia of hatred. This is a phobia involving hatred. If I read this verse to a Muslim, he will, uh, he will say to you, you are teaching hate. Absolutely. You see, it's in the front of you. I'm teaching the teaching of hate in the front of you. This is Quran. This is your teaching. I'm not the one is teaching hate. I'm teaching you about the teaching of hate. It is your book. How you accuse somebody to be a person of hate if the Quran even saying that if any Christian he have hate in his heart, this is because Allah he stringed them with hatred and enmity. Do you see it? According to this verse, any Christian he have hatred in his heart, this is coming from Allah, which means Allah is the devil. Here we go. I just I got a donation from a Jew. He gave me ten dollars. <laughs> I'm just joking. I don't know if he's a Jew or not. Thank you, my friend, for the donation. Abdul, 
How you can accuse somebody of hatred if the source of hatred is God of Islam, as you see in the front of you? So, based on this verse, if there is a Christian, he teach hate. Where he got the hate from? From Allah. And the proof in the front of your eyes. So why? How come? If and unless you are a hypocrite, how come you are not upset from Allah to teach such a teaching of hate, but you are accusing of uh, you know others of it? In the same chapter, chapter five, verse number fifty-one, it says what? Look at this. This is the teaching of hate. Oh, who you believe? Take not the Jews and the Christians as your friends and protectors. Why you cannot take me as a friend? Is that because of teaching of love or teaching of hate or phobia? You Muslims have a phobia. Your God have a phobia. The phobia is that you cannot take a Christian or a Jew as a friend because if you do that, Allah, he told you, you will become like them. You became unjust and sick and ill and filthy. Do you see it? And if you take me as a friend, the Quran says you are one of us, which means you became a Christian. You are out of Islam. It's like saying, uh, don't take uh, those who have... Uh, uh what the what is the disease like the skin disease you know somebody have a skin disease don't take them because that will make you have the same skin disease i can accept that maybe because this disease will can be transformed from person to person but you cannot take me as a friend and i am a christian or a jew why the answer is very simple because this god is god of phobia because you have a phobia And when I say something like this, you accuse me of something. Hmm. Call me again, please. I lost you. You are obviously paid by the Jews. Here we go. I have, I receive a donation of $10. With this $10, I'm going to fix my roof. By the way, I'm not making fun of the person who made the donation. Thank you very much. I will fix the roof. I will go vacation. I will buy, uh, I'm not sure what to do. I mean, this is what happens when you have a lot of money. Please take your money back now because I can't sleep. How I can't sleep now? How I'm going to spend all the money is coming from the Jews. The Jews, they send me $10. Hello? Hello? Do you hear me? Uh, do I speak with Christian Prince, who is on YouTube right now? Yes, it's me, Christian Prince. Okay. Uh, we just wanted to say thank you for your what you're doing. We're from Germany, and uh, we will. Uh, I lost you. Your voice is getting off. Can you say again, please? Uh, can you repeat again? Your voice is gone. Oh, <clears throat> recalling from Germany. All right. And we wanted to thank you for your teaching. Thank you, my friend. Thank you very much. I appreciate your call. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. Anything else you want to say? Um, no, we're just learning about, about Islam because uh, here in Germany, Islam is rising. And you have to get to know what they're teaching. So there, we have been connected with Salafis, like from the Read Project. And um, we're just learning. And it's interesting to hear the different uh, teachings and versions of Islam. There's only one version, the one you see in the front of you. And by the way, if you don't know, I have, I have books in German language, so you can get them in case you don't have them yet. Yeah. All right, please tell your friends about them so more people will learn the truth. Everything we have in the translation is as it is in the Quran, as it is in the Hadith, with the reference. And we challenge any Muslim. Like, you know, I saw some videos made by German, uh, like a video by a guy, his name is Tarzan. Uh, sorry, not Tarzan. <laughs> not Tarzan, no. Ramadan, Ramadan, not Tarzan. Uh, he was saying uh, Christian Prince is lying, and he made a video says mistake number one. This guy is an official idiot. Uh, you know, 
and why they don't even dare to call me the one who the Muslim they say Christian Prince is teaching you wrong why the Muslims from Germany don't dare to call me live on air here we go this this uh, this lady she called me I don't know her she don't know me I mean she just called like, uh, my line is open anyone can call me why the Muslims okay. who say that I have wrong teaching I am not telling the truth why they don't call me live on air from Germany and get me busted what do you think I I will ask them I will ask uh, the yeah Ask any, any Muslim from? you want, any Muslim, especially the, the ones with the long beard. I like those long beard, you know. So <laughs> if, if you see a Muslim with long beard, the one which can be useful for many things, please ask and him. And short, short, short legs on their uh, yeah, they trousers. Look fine because this is what their prophet, you know, and he, and he should not wear an underwear. You know that they should not wear an underwear. Actually, most of them, they are hypocrites. They are not addressing the same as Muhammad, and they will never do that. And they will never practice sunnah. As an example, a Muslim who follow Muhammad should use the three rocks to clean his ass, not a toilet paper, and not even water. A Muslim he should okay, follow Muhammad. He should have a, he should have lies in his head, and the Prophet he blessed the lies. He said they woke up the prophets. They are blessed animals or creatures. A Muslim, uh, you know, if he is really truly Muslim, he should drink camel urine every day. How many Muslims in Germany they do that? They don't. Um. No, I think they they reason. They not just. I mean, they really study. They uh, move for a period of month to uh, Morocco and learn the Quran, or go to Medina <clears throat> and study there. Um, they really. I mean, they don't. I think they would not call you because they want not to fight. It's not about who is right, who is wrong. In the sense that you you know, win a discussion, and they're very eager to really being polite. Um, Muslims are eager to be polite. I never saw one. I don't know. Uh, you are talking oh yes, about, often are I, very. I, I never. Maybe those are professional uh, 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 liars because there is a professional liars and there is a stupid liars. Professional liars, they try to be polite in order to to prove to you that they are not what you say. You know, because you are trying to prove that the Islam is a savage religion. So, how a Muslim he discuss politely? Is that based in Islam? You know, uh, Muhammad he said that uh, discuss with them by the, the by the best you can, by the best you can. But Muhammad himself did not practice that. This is something Muhammad he practiced when he was weak. You see, okay. when when the Christians they came to Muhammad. And they said to him, we want to debate you about Jesus. Muhammad, he said to them, at that time he was weak. He cannot kill them all. But he said to them, okay, bring your wives, bring my wives, bring your children, I bring my children, bring your goat, I bring my goat. I'm adding the goat here, which because it's funny. And let us invoke God to curse the one is lying. So even Muhammad, when he debate, he want to do cursing. So if Muhammad debating me now and he is a polite, don't tell me that the Muslims are more polite than Muhammad, what he will do? He will say me, Allah curse you, Christian prince, is your line, your turn. I take the mic, I say, Muhammad, may Allah curse you if you are lying. Muhammad, he take his turn. He say, Christian prince, may Allah cut your nose if you are lying, your turn. Uh, Christian prince, may Allah cut your toes if you are lying. This is the debate. So even the debates in the Quran, chapter 3, verse number 60, is based on cursing. So how a Muslim can be polite in debating? I never heard of one, unless he is being hypocrite. You know what I mean, my friend? Yes, I'm listening. This is what the Quran. I, I... This is what the Quran teach. If two people want to debate, one of them is a Muslim and the other one is not. They have to do cursing party. This is the polite. This is the tip polite God. This is the teaching of Allah, not the teaching of the neighborhood. Can the Muslim they say this is not true? No, no. Say, oh people of the scriptures, come into agreement between you and you. Okay, okay. To worship none of Allah, and then he says to them, "Look at this." And those who dispute concerning him, talking about what supposedly Jesus, after the knowledge has come to them, and to thee, say to them, "Come, come. We will summon." Our sons and your sons, 
our women and your women ourself and yourself and let us pray to God to invoke curse upon the one who lies this is debate in Islam cursing debate do you see it so look how look how savage it is he cannot answer them they are coming to debate him they are asking questions instead of answering them he said to them okay 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 bring your females and my female what my females have to do with those and those are monks the one is coming to debate Muhammad are priest and bishop they are not people who they are married they didn't have wives and they didn't have kids so look what Muhammad said to them okay bring your wives I bring my wives bring your children I bring my children and let us invoke God to curse the one is lying cursing party where is the debate so how a Muslim he claimed that he can be polite in a debate if his God teaching him to curse me in the debate and to curse himself is his line do you see it yep I you know I will ask my friends to call you they're not here with me right now no but problem, no another problem. Time. you see I'm not I'm not telling you not to call them I'm saying when you said they are polite I wish to have a, 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 a conversation with a polite person that's really would be good but it's weird it's strange I mean why why this Muslim is polite this is weird but anyway he's welcome he or she it doesn't matter who is who are they uh, please ask them to call anytime they wish we will and now if they want actually we are live on air they can call me now if they, if they, if they wish all right okay thank you thank you very much for calling take care all right thanks for this lady for calling and if you are from Europe and you like to learn about Islam we have my books translated in many languages just search my name in Amazon of your country like amazon.de uh, Germany or uh, there is a copy in Swedish in um, Netherlands language uh, French German Swedish what else uh, yeah you know like uh, you know already translated to many languages um, and actually soon we will have in the language of Malaysia and Indonesia you know and I will publish it soon I'm working in that but I have to finish my roof first <laughs> anyway so my friend Islam is a religion of phobia, religion of cursing. If Muhammad is not a person who have a phobia, that he will be exposed if he have a debate. Why he is asking the Christians to come in a party of cursing? What kind of debate this debate is? Let us curse each other. And to prove what? To prove that I'm right? Actually, the idea in this verse is proving to us that Muhammad is a liar. How we know that? Anyone knows what is the mistake in this verse? Additional, you know, I mean, to cursing. What is the mistake in this verse? Let me put it back. The, my internet somehow is slow. I'm not sure why. I think because it's a weekend. Uh, let me close this. I will close Microsoft. It's open. All right, maybe now is going to be better. Let us see. All right. What do you think, guys? What is the problem Muhammad is suffering from here? Where is the mistake? What is the error in this verse? Who want to tell me what is the real error in this invitation of curse and debate? Anyone notice? Who noticed? I just highlighted for you. Do you see what Muhammad he said at the end? He said, "Invoke the curse of Allah on those who lie." Anyone notice what? How? Why this is stupid? Anyone notice? There is something very stupid there. Extremely stupid. I mean, beyond stupidity, not only stupid. If I am debating with someone, let us say he is a Hindu.
you are two admin you have there with you now say that they can call anyone in chat they think is a Muslim to a good word. Mm. Mm. Somebody say that somebody call him, call him in the chat. He is a rapist like Muslim. I don't know why this conversation happening, but my friend, uh, people they say whatever they want, and I'm not responsible for what people say in the text in the chat. So if somebody say that to you, ask him why you say that to me. I have a discussion with him, not with me. You judge me by what I say, not what people say in a chat. This is their business. Now, don't go around the bushes and tell me, this guy, he said that to me, this guy, he said that to me. None of my business. And don't send me images. I don't, I'm not going to open images. Sorry. Maybe you said something made me believe that you are what they said to you about you. This is your business. Now, let's listen to me. The problem in this verse is if I am debating with someone, he is a Hindu, and he said to me that Jesus is not God and the Hindu religion is the right thing, he's not lying because lie. Is you know it is wrong and you say it is true or right this is lie if you say to me what you believe this is not a lie if your belief is wrong it's wrong it's not a lie you said it's a lie you believe in is that correct guys are, are you getting my point if I speak to an atheist he believed that there's no God He's not lying to me. He is telling me what he believe in. This not a, this is not a he's not telling a lie. This is what he believe. His 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 belief is wrong, and for me it's a lie. He believe in a lie, or he believe in the wrong. But he is not a liar. So to assume that if somebody debating you, he believe in something else that he is a liar, that is a stupid. If a Muslim called me right now and he said to me, Muhammad is a prophet, for me it's a lie, but he is not a liar. Because he is telling me what he believes in. He believes in a lie. Are you getting my point? There's a huge difference between somebody believe in something wrong, which might be even a lie, and a liar. Obviously, the one who made the Quran is stupid and he is a liar. He think everybody is a liar or let us say he accused you to be a liar because he's a liar. In the Middle East, they speak about like certain kind of people, like as an example, a woman, she do prostitution business in a building. She live in a building and this building have, let us say, 12 floor. Every floor have a few families. This prostitute, she will make gossip about all the women in the buildings. Anyone knows why? Please don't use a bad language in the text. Otherwise, the admins, they should block you. Is the admin there? Anyone use the F word in the text, say bad language, you will be blocked. Don't use a bad language, please. There's no need for such a language. Maybe there's no admin today. I'm warning you, if I see such a F word in the text, I will block you. Now, when you are guilty of something, you try to defend yourself by making everybody look the same as you do. You know what I mean? So if a person is a thief or a person is a pimp, and he is the only pimp in town that will put a lot of pressure on him but if everybody is a pimp or he make him look like a pimp then he is just one of the names you know what i mean so muhammad he is accusing people of lying for he knew he's a liar a person he believe in something he is not lying even if it's wrong 
even if you believe in a lie as long as you believe in it and you know not that it's a lie which means you have no idea that it's a lie you think it's true how you can be accused to be a liar if somebody even believed that she, she, satan is god imagine it doesn't go far satan is god he believe in that but this is his belief satan is not god that is a lie but he is not the liar for he is not believing in something he knew it's a lie he believe in something he think it is true do we have any abdul So if a Muslim he said to me Muhammad is a prophet for me it's a lie but he is not a liar for this is what he believe in he believe in a lie he is being honest this is what he believe in he's being very honest if you say Allah is God that's a lie for me but he's being honest he believe in that he's not liar do we have any any Muslim would like to call me any Muslim here is against phobia let me show you the phobia of the Quran do you know because of the phobia of Islam there is cities in Saudi Arabia non Muslims are not allowed to enter let me show you some pictures from the internet Let me show you some pictures in the internet. Let me show you the phobia, the real phobia. Where is where is the liberals to tell us how they can sponsor such a cult which says Muslims only? In the year 2018, we have a religion and followers of religion believe that there's roads and there are cities only muslims can walk in it otherwise they would be killed where is the one who defend the human rights what is the liberals what is the european union who have a kit in the parliament now a law kit to protect islam where are they? Why you protect Islam? Islam, we need to protection. Here we go. If I go right now, can I go to Mecca? No. Can I drive in that road? No. They speak about the discrimination happened to the black people in South Africa. Very ugly, very disgusting. I am against that. But this is more. They say to you that the white man, he used to have a white bus and black bus. This is the same. Muslim bus, non-Muslim bus. There are cities you cannot even go through. Is that because they have a phobia? Yes, because the Quran says we are najis. What does najis mean? We are filthy, dirty. So we are not allowed to enter those cities because they are holy and we are filthy. Imagine if the Christians, they have a highway. It says Christians only. And if you aren't Christians, we chop your head. Huh. You can imagine what will happen in the liberal. Imagine if a Christian person, he hang on the highway such a sign. This will be in all over the news, the European Parliament. Imagine if, if a Trump, he post a sign says Christians only. Imagine. They will eat him alive. Muslims can do that. It's okay. Muslims right now in Saudi Arabia, they chop the head, they cut the hands, they stone the women, they kill the gays, they kill the lesbian, and nobody talk. And yet we are the one who have a phobia. 
and the funny they say to you Islam is not Isis <laughs> you know what your friends who have an embassy in your country in in Paris in Germany in Holland in Austria you name it whatever the embassy of Saudi Arabia is you have an ambassador who present a regime a religion who cut hands who stone women who chop heads and he they and they and, and they whip people by the by, by the whip and they say to you we are against Isis so why are you are against against uh, Saudi Arabia why you have relationship with Saudi Arabia why you take their money why you do business with them how many people in Saudi Arabia right now are arrested just for their opinion and God knows if they will appear again mostly they are killed how come European Union don't make sanctions against Saudi Arabia or USA Trump you see Trump he speak like he give a speeches he's better than the rest of them yes but he is the same at the end of the day all of them they are hypocrites where is the Trump we put sanctions on Russia the Russian is one billion time better than Saudi Arabia we can't even compare just few months ago finally because the royal family they have no choice they agreed that women they can drive after more than a hundred years of women driving in Saudi Arabia women can drive all right my friend don't worry I'm glad that you decide to leave us now see God is good the guy who was just accusing me a second ago of teaching hate he decide to leave Islam God is good do you see it don't be afraid my friend don't be afraid Do we have any Muslim want to explain to us what kind of religion teach that non-Muslims are filthy? So, what if a Christian prince starts saying that Hindus are filthy? Now somebody will take my 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 voice now and says, "Hey, Christian prince, he said that. You know, they will cut my voice. You know what I mean? No, I did not say, and I'm not saying Hindus are filthy. I'm saying if I say the same as Islam teach." What the Muslim? They will make a video about it. They will spread it all over, you know. But you have religion teaching that it's in the Quran. وَإِنَّمَا الْمُشْرِكُونَ النَّجِسِ This is not because they might say to you, "Oh, this is this is a tradition. This is regime. This is not about the regime of Saudi Arabia. This is Islam. This is the teaching of Islam. This is not the teaching of the King of Saudi Arabia." يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا إِنَّمَا الْمُشْرِكُونَ نَجِسٌ فَلَا يَقْرَبُوا الْمَسْجِدَ الْحَرَامَ بَعْدَ عَامِهِمْ هَذَا etc. Chapter 9, verse number 28. Do you see it? And look at the funny translation. And clean. What does that mean? And clean. It doesn't say any clean. It says najis. And najis is beyond any clean. When you, when you say something najis, it's like you are saying, speaking about the sewage. Something you cannot clean. Something by itself is disgusting. It, it is the disgusting. It's not like somebody, you see, I can clean myself. Is that will make me clean to go to Mecca? No. If I take a shower? No. If I take a shower with with the 
uh, with detergent and whatever no perfume no so what is unclean about me you are the dirt it's not about any being unclean you are the nudges nudges is you you are the dirt are you getting my point it's not you are dirty because something stuck on you no no you you yourself you are the dirt those people are nudges they are filthy and no cleaning can clean them so this is not about taking a shower and taking uh, 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 like a certain measure of cleaning and you will be fine no it doesn't matter what do you do you are filthy this is a chapter 9 verse 28 why the, the verse is not showing I have it in the screen and yet they speak about Islamophobia and the liberals they don't have a problem with this when when the last time the Guardian you know make a presentation about why we are filthy when the last time the Prime Minister of England decide to put to question Saudi Arabia for the stoning women cutting hands cutting heads killing gays killing apostate and crucifixion because don't forget you see they say to you the Isis is not Islam why because they crucify people do you see how ugly it is the Quran Allah he says that he will crucify people too and the Quran he ordered the Muslim to crucify people this is Islam But this is what those people are talking about. This is Islam. Anyone who do wage war against Islam, and by the way, they say to you, Oh, this isn't the case of war. This is not in the case of war. Anyone who don't agree with Muhammad or he have an opinion, we can cut his arms, we can cut his feet, we can crucify him, and we can took put nails in his eyes. Do you see it? Actually, there is an Imam. His name. Let me get you the article. Hold on. Give me a second. This is a very famous Imam. In Saudi Arabia his a Twitter have like a million something subscriber I think a million and a half all right his name is Salman al -Auda. Salman Lauda from Saudi Arabia he saw a dream he saw a dream that Muhammad came to him in the dream and he published the dream or what happened in the dream in YouTube or Twitter the second day he was arrested and then now he is facing the penalty of cutting his feet and cutting his arms and cutting or putting nails in his eyes and crucifixion just because of a dream a dream <laughs> a dream this is wage war they will say to you ah this is about waging war yeah this guy he waged war he just said something is not accepted in Islam according to the king the royal family according to them he is waging war against Allah. Therefore, we can practice the punishment of a crucifixion, cutting his hands, cutting his arms, cutting his feet, and putting nails in his eyes. The same exactly as Muhammad he did. That is the truth. 
they like to say to you this is a my friend this is about war people who did you know like the example in the hadith on the interpretation it says a bunch of guys they get like they killed the guy but this is not about this this guy is facing facing this death penalty based on this verse and he will be executed very soon actually some they said he is ex executed already that is the truth a dream is we if you if you have it he is a sheikh he is not a christian imagine if a sheikh he saw a dream he will face this death penalty by cutting his hands cutting his legs and a crucifixion and nails in his eyes in his body for the sake of a dream Oh, what he said in the dream. Actually, the dream is a stupid. I mean, this is Islam, my friend. Anything you say is, it, you know, you might lose your life for it. It's a stupid religion. You see, Islam is a very, it's a perfect tool to torture and to control nations. This is why, let me tell you, like some people, they might think that Israel is against Islam. Israel, my friend, is not against Islam. Israel wish that all countries around them they will stay Muslims forever. Anyone knows why? Why Israel want every country in the neighborhood stay Muslims? Who knows why? Let us see who of you will will uh, will, will think with me. Why it is the interest of Israel to have all of the neighbors Muslims? Why is that for the benefit of Israel to have neighbors who they are Christians? Yeah, as long as you have Muslim nations around them, they will be backward. And they will not be able to wage war against Israel. They will be behave, they will be, sorry, like behind in everything. Until now, they cannot even have a theater in Saudi Arabia. After 100 years, women, she can drive. I mean, how those people, they can have a war with Israel? They don't want Muslims to be Muslims by name. They want them to be Muslims. For this is for the benefit of Israel. The more Muslims they are, the more in the cave time they are. The first time a bicycle came to Saudi Arabia, do you know what happened? Anyone knows? And you know, anyone knows really what happened when the first time a bicycle came to Saudi Arabia? A bicycle. They arrested the bicycle. Have you ever heard of a religion like this? The bicycle itself was arrested and taken to Sharia court. And then the judge, he decided to destroy it because this is the bike of the devil. Me, myself, I witnessed an execution of ducks. Ducks. But they are not real ducks. A guy, he have ducks, he made ducks, made it from, from like, uh, what they call it, like the thing if you want to make a decoration in the house. It's like, you know, like cement, but it's, it's, it's weaker, it's not strong. So he made ducks nice like you know containers for flowers they have the shape of dogs a muslim abdul came inside the house he saw in his yards his four or five of those dogs he called the sharia law allah akbar brother i saw idols in his house idols yes brother idols the police came the court the judge the, the people they crowd coming from everywhere and i was like what happened what's happening here why what, what what happened somebody get killed somebody and then a guy he have a sword came inside and then he read the order of the judge of the sharia law and allahu akbar and he chopped the head of the of the ducks and all the crowd saying allahu akbar takbir allahu akbar ta have you ever heard of a stupid cult like this people cheering up for cutting the head of four ducks who they are made from 
sand. Islam is the best to be stupid. Bring Islam, people go backward. In the other day, I made a video about what? Anyone remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. In in Kuwait, in Kuwait, the city, they order a company, the city of Kuwait, the city hall, they order a company to shut down. Anyone remember the video? I show it to you on the screen. Who remember? <clears throat> A company in Kuwait three D company they order it to close and to shut down immediately. Why? Because they are printing idols. <laughs> Let me find you the the news. Look, all those news. The Muslims are warning Kuwait from having idols back on the country. This is September twenty. Uh, this is an article, just September twenty. Why? Because there is printers coming to Kuwait and they are printing 3D. I mean, look how hypocrite those people are. How come you watch TV stations? How come you watch porn? Everybody there watch porn. How come you have a picture of your daughter and your son? How come 3D printing, 3D printing is an idol? The Quran did not mention the 3D, and Muhammad never mentioned 3D. Muhammad, he said, anyone he make a picture, anyone he make a picture, Allah will torture him in the judgment day. You see it? Picture, not the statues. Allah will torture him in the judgment day. So how come the hypocrite don't go against making pictures and watching pictures and printing pictures and having pictures in their ID? Hey Muslims, do you have toys for your kids? Do your daughter have a Barbie? Aisha, she used to have a Barbie. And the Barbie was a horse with two wings. Should we execute Aisha? Was it a 3D or 4D, the Barbie of Aisha? Madness. And not only that, you see, many people believe or think that Islam is against the statues, correct? They say to you, Islam destroyed the statues because Islam is against worshiping idols. What if I show you that Allah Himself He He made one of His prophets make statues? You want to see it? It's in the Quran. Hypocrites. How come nobody speak against this verse in the Quran? Chapter 34, verse number 13. What this chapter is about? It's a fiction chapter about Solomon. That Allah, he gave him the control of the ring of the, the what is it called? The, he was the Lord of the ring. And by that ring, he controlled all the genies. And what the genies they do for him? He gave him black, you know, flying carpet, you know, 
You see here, this is the flying carpet. Flying carpet in the Quran, yes. Hmm? And what else? They built for him buildings. They make for him arches, statues. Do you see it? Here they translate the word as images, false translation. It doesn't say images. It says statues, liars. Anyone who speak Arabic, he knew it. Uh, somebody is saying to me abdul already complained they want me they want to see my face i mean i wish i'm a good looking i will show my face right away but what i can do i'm not a good looking person maybe you know one day if the jews are donating for me as the muslims they say i will make a surgery like muhammad he have a plastic surgery two of them two plastic surgery to make him smart or to make him have faith and have to look or to be smart Maybe if I do, I will show you my... Why you want to see my face, Abdul? Why why you want to see my face? Answer me. Why Muslim is show us your face? Okay, there's a Christians who show, them, show you your face. How come and what you will ask them next? If After I show you my face, what you will do next? What is that? Are you going to be able to answer better when you see my face? Last time I received an email from a Muslim, she said to me, so what if your voice is so sexy? I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. I mean, this is too much hate. Your sister's already trying to date me, my friend. Just for my voice. So imagine you see my face. I'm very handsome, the same as the Prophet Muhammad and Ahmadinejad. Peace upon them. So what what the genie they build for Allah messenger the one who he gave him a flying carpet any Abdul can tell us what they what uh, what they do what they build for him you see I'm showing you all the verses before and the verses after who is a Muslim I tell me how the Quran says that Allah he gave a chance to his prophet to control the genies and to build for him synagogues and statues. Do you see it? Do you see it? This is God. I thought you Islam is against uh, statues. The Muslim they keep saying to us Islam is against it, against it, against it, and then we find that Allah is the one who taught that He's a prophet to make statues. If you read the interpretation, you will see that those statues was a statues for the good prophets. What? Good prophet? So we can make statues for good prophet in Islam then. Like who? Statues for Abraham? Everything in this religion is upside down you see in Islam they say to you we are against adultery Islam itself is religion of adultery you know if somebody cheating in his wife what what you will say he will say he's committing adultery right okay what if you are having four women in the same time they will say to you oh David he have a lot of women According to Islam, Allah permitted him to do so. According to Christianity or Judaism, nobody permitted him to do so. Show me where in the Bible it says that you can have all those women. David was a sinner man, very badly sinner. The Bible does not praise his sin, condemn it. And he was crying, asking God for forgiveness in the Bible. Muhammad had 13 women in his house. For what? And hundreds of 
six slaves. And any women she give herself to the Prophet, as we showed you in the chapter of Al-Ahzab. There's nothing is called adultery in Islam. Muhammad even, he allowed Muslims to do muta, which means you go and hire a woman for a few minutes or a few hours, depending how the deal you do, just for sex. This why it's called muta. Muta in Arabic means pleasure. What pleasure? Sex pleasure. Have you ever heard of an ethic like this? A prophet of God allowed in his men to go and rent women just for sex and they call it marriage imagine they call this marriage what kind of marriage is the marriage for 15 minutes or for 10 minutes you are going in the elevator you meet a Muslim woman and you are a Muslim you want to do muta so you say to her I will give you 10 and by the way you have to pay money otherwise it's not halal you have to give her wages you have to offer her money and she accept if you don't offer money and she accept it's not allowed which means it's official prostitution yet they call it marriage so some Christian they think that we and Muslims we share the same value as an example they say to you Islam is against Adultery that's false actually the Quran promote prostitution officially if you go in the Quran Look what the Quran said there's not a single verse in the Quran against prostitution. There's only a, a, a verse promoting it Read this verse with me Chapter 24 verse number 33 Read carefully. But force not your maids. Who is the maids, by the way? What maids? Who are those maids? Slaves. The, the Muslims, they kidnap women, the Christians, the Jews, the non-Muslims. They kidnap them, and then they force them to work in prostitutions. But force not your maids to prostitution when they desire chastity. What, what? If they desire, so it's a choice. So what the Quran is saying, well, ask her if she like to do prostitution or not. Force her not. And if you force her, no worry. Allah is all merciful and forgiving. And then they put between two of the bracket to them. What is the punishment for the Muslims? What is the penalty of Islam for making a slave girl Forcing her to work as a prostitute. Any Muslim can show me the penalty? Who is a Muslim want to show me the penalty if a Muslim he made his slave a prostitute? If he forced her, no penalty. And the liar here in the Quran translation, he said to them, to them to who? Supposedly to the girls. It doesn't say that. It says Allah is all forgiven. It doesn't say to who? Which means it doesn't matter anyway. And why Muhammad he made this verse? Muslim women they start complaining. Our husband they are not coming home. We have a lot of pretty women. They kidnap them from the neighbors. They are sleeping with them. Nobody want to sleep with his wife. So go they they go and they look around, and they find those beautiful slaves, blonde girls. From the Roman, Muhammad himself, he said, attack the Roman and get the blondie girls. You remember? Attack the Roman to get the blondie girls. They call them the Asfar, which means the yellow, the daughters of the yellow. Don't you want to get the yellow? And even there is a verse about it in the Quran. A man, he said to Muhammad, don't seduce us to go to war because of a blonde girls. He said that to him. Muhammad, he accused him to be a hypocrite. Imagine. Woman whom man yaqul li wa What? Chapter 9, verse number 49. Don't seduce me. Among them, many is many a man who says grant me exemption and draw me 
into not into trial what trial the word here is temptation what is behind this story I challenge any Muslim to say to me you are a liar who wanna call me right now and says to me you are a liar this is not about the Roman and the Roman girls specifically any Muslim any Abdul wanna call me to say to me you are a liar and Muhammad did not say attack the Roman so we can get the blondie girls who wanna do that who want to do a favor to Islam? Get me busted life on air. Please. Please call me and you challenge me. Maybe I'm lying. I mean, why maybe? Christians are liars, aren't they? This is what the Muslim they say. But they are ashamed of their cult. You see, they speak loud in order to mute but not to say the truth are, do you know what i'm saying they speak loud not because they are telling the truth but because they are liars and they speak loud in the front of those who do not know but in the front of those who knows they are so quiet And then you see the liberals in the bed defending this such an ugly cult, teaching to beat women, to kill women, to kill apostate, to kill atheists. You see, don't defend the Christians, the liberals. You, you, you defend the atheists, don't you? Okay, what is the punishment for somebody to be an atheist in an Islamic country? Who is the one have a phobia? What is the punishment for somebody he decide to be a gay in Saudi Arabia? Ahmed Najad, he said, when they asked him in USA, he said, in Iran, we have no gays. We have zero gays. Have you ever heard of a country have zero gays? For sure you have no gays. Because the one who say he's a gay, he's killed already. And the one he is a gay, he will not say. The president, why in Iran you kill gays? First of all, first of all, in Iran, we have no gays. Like, what? First of all, in Saudi Arabia, have no Christians. Why we have no Christians in Saudi Arabia? Because we kill them. If they are only workers, they can come as a foreigner. But Saudi is a Christian, we kill him. We have no atheists in Saudi Arabia. Have you ever heard of a, of, of, a, of a country? Everybody in the country believe. Not a single person don't say, I don't believe in Allah. Isn't it obvious that this religion is a religion of terrorism? Because this is based on terrorism. You see, when people are not allowed to believe in something different, this is terrorism. And if you believe in something different, they kill you. This is terrorism. Everybody have to eat the same clothes, dress the same clothes, speak the same words, worship the same God. Every, you know, they, they speak about communism, the communist. Islam is worse. Terrorism is the core teaching of Islam. If my wife don't agree with me, what I do? I beat her. That is terrorism. I beat her until she obey me. Does the Quran say that? Yes. To do what exactly? What is the act of violence for? To terrify her so she will obey me. That is the truth. This is an act of terrorism. Act of terrorism, not only a terrorist coming, taking a knife and attacking you in the street, or a car bombing, or 9-11. This is not true. Every teaching on Islam, starting from the individual house, is based on terrorism. Who dare not to fast the fat of the month of Ramadan? Why? The whole country want to fast? Who dare not to go to pray? Why have you have you ever the whole nation they want to go and pray on time and they rush because if you don't go three times they, the police they will come and arrest you to investigate why you are not coming to the mosque a man he is beating women a 
and that can be exist by the way not only between Muslims there is some men they beat their wives sadly some of you might say oh some women deserve that uh, you know doesn't matter really who deserve who does not if a woman she is not suitable for you leave her you don't beat her who are you to beat her you own her you bought her what if she's stronger than you so you take advantage of her because you are physically stronger and you beat her that's all so you don't like what she's saying maybe maybe she is rude maybe she is disgusting maybe maybe it doesn't matter don't and you have no right to beat her leave her why you want to stay with someone who is rude to you if she disrespect you leave leave with myself you know go and be single you don't beat a woman no matter what is the excuse so the Quran teach you that if you have a wife and you feel that she might be a rebellion she is not even rebellion you jail her in her house in her room in the room you jail her we see here this says, uh, uh and uh, you know and punish them uh, a bit the part doesn't say really it says the translators are a bunch of idiots trying to hide the truth jail them in their rooms this is the punishment and beat them until what until they obey you then if they obey you then seek not any against them so what is the purpose of this beating to make her obey me terrorism Osama bin Laden he want America to convert to Islam obey me I invite you to convert to Islam you don't obey me I will kill you terrorism my wife she is not obeying me what I do I beat her terrorism because I am violent she is not so I will terrify her until she admit and then she and then she bow down and then she do my wishes What if I ask my wife to take off her panty and she said, no, I don't feel like it. I beat her according to Islam. Even Muhammad, he said, if a man, he asked his wife to come to the bed and she refused, Allah and the angels will be cursing her all night. Allah is busy. Allah have nothing to do except watching panties. Why Allah will curse her? Why? What if a man, he said to his wife, no, I don't want to sleep with her. The Quran says that you can't do that. Here we go. A man he can punish them in the bed and he stay away from them he don't sleep with them as a punishment remember the man he have many wives so the woman she can stay in her house in her husband's house for eternity and he never sleep with her put her inside her room she cannot see anyone she cannot she is jailed even if he did not beat her and she will not al allowed even to have sex with him But the woman, he cannot do that to her husband. A man, he can do that to his wife. That is Islam. When Muhammad, he decided not to sleep with Sauda bin Tudama anymore because she became old and according to the hadith, excuse my language, I'm not saying that, she became slow and fat. Muhammad, he liked the young ones. What Muhammad he said? Muhammad he made a verse about it. Allah taught him a verse right away. Allah right ready. You see here the word shoes You see the word shoes This is the word shoes If the woman she do shoes we beat her. What if the man he made shoes I will copy the same word and paste it in the search engine in front of your eyes. Here we go. The same word which is exist in chapter four, verse number thirty-four. Exactly. Really. It says it appear in two verses. Do you see it? Guys, do you see it? The word in the shoes appear in two verses. Okay. The first verse, chapter four, verse number thirty-four. Beat the wives if they do in the shoes. So if the women she do in the shoes, we beat her. Chapter four, verse thirty-four. If the man do in the shoes, look at the look at the hypocrisy of this terrorist religion. Chapter four, verse one twenty-eight. The same chapter. If a woman, her husband is doing the shoes to her, huh? There's no problem if they agree in agreement. What is the agreement? The guy he don't want to sleep with her no more. 
and this was about Muhammad Muhammad he didn't want to sleep with Sauda the, the old woman he, she was afraid he would divorce her she heard the news that Muhammad because she became old and she is not good-looking no more he is going to divorce her so she came to Aisha she said please speak to the Prophet as have an agreement I will give you my day Aisha so Muhammad he will sleep with you twice which means he would come to your house twice Muhammad had many wives each one she have a she have a day so make him not to divorce me and get my day I will give you my day as a gift Muhammad he like that Aisha she love it anyone knows why Aisha she love it who knows why Aisha she want to have two days it was for her benefit and she liked this agreement who knows to get more money when Muhammad he come to the house of Aisha twice that will bring twice money gifts all the gifts actually and later Aisha she made all the gifts come to her house only which mean in the day of Aisha all the gifts come because the Arab and the Muslim they notice that Muhammad he agree with them if they send the money to her to Aisha it's a bribe so if you let us say remember Muhammad is a king now he is the one he's a ruler so if you want something to agree upon send the gift to Aisha and ask for the thing whatever you ask for is going to be agreed agreed upon they learn if they send the money to the house of different wife you don't care you take the money he did not do what they want but if Aisha she is there she forced him to do what he should do those people they send the money to me you have to agree but the point here if a woman she is doing nushud which we showed you in the search here the word nushud if the woman she is doing nushud we beat her if the man is doing the shoes Allah bless him the same exact act are you getting my point this is terrorism if my wife don't agree with me I beat her terrorism is not about a teaching of a scholar or a cleric as they say to you in uh, in Wahhabi school or they say to you the Wahhabi they teach those things this is a lie Islam is a Wahhabi Wahhabi is just a guy he said we should do what the true Islam teach that's all what did the Quran teach what the, what the, what the Hadith says that's all he did not come with his own religion there's nothing called Wahhabi there's no sect it's called Wahhabi there's no sect it called Salafi. It's not exist. It's a lie. Salafi is the same as saying I am an Orthodox. It's like I am in the old way. That's it. That's what Salafi is. There's no sect it called Salafi. And what old way mean? I follow the same as Muhammad did. So now we look at the hypocrisy of the Western today. They say. ISIS is terrorist for they are practicing crucifixion, killing, stoning, cutting hands, burning people alive. Well, this is Islamic, 100% Islamic. There's a cartoon video I posted in YouTube. YouTube took it off after one second. I mean, look how fast it is. And the video was saying Islam is not ISIS or ISIS is not Islam it was a funny video actually you can find it in minds.com in my page there do we have any Muslim would like to call anyway guys I think we have enough for today I see the Sun is coming back maybe I can get back to do some work maybe maybe it's getting sunny uh, Lord have mercy. Anyway, I want to say thank you for all those who join us and thank you for those who uh, help with donation. It's really appreciated and it's needed. And I hope tomorrow, if I can, I would do broadcast. If not, 
then you will be not you, you will be notified uh, by the page here or by Facebook or by whatever um, pages we have so thank you very much for being here may the Lord bless you and enter we see you again soon God is winning um, I leave you in peace and enjoy your weekend enjoy your Sunday and pray for all the Muslims to be saved from the cult of Islam the Muslims they need our prayer too they are victims truly they are victims a Muslim he think you see that Jesus he spoke about people like Muslims he said time will come and they will think by killing you they are doing favor to God those people they think they are doing favor to God Osama bin Laden he think he's doing favor to God he think he's a good guy they're victims yes they kill but they themselves they are victims too they think they are defending God they think they are defending the truth they think they are defending the right or taking the right side they are victims and we need to help them and this is why when somebody says to me you hate Muslims I love because this is absolutely false if somebody take drugs and you don't tell him that drugs is wrong you are the one who hate him if you say to him drugs is right obviously you hate him if you don't say it's wrong you still still you hate him because you don't want you don't care we care we care and we would like to see the Muslims save from such a cult destroying the life of the Muslims and the life of others and with this thank you very much for being here may the Lord bless you Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon again bye-bye